Shepard and Marshall, uh, but I think we've got some really good defensive ends stepping up. When you look at Patrick Hampton, and you look at Ryan Giddens, and you look at Juju Forte, and the experience they were able to get a year ago, and a guy like Claude Davis, who's going to be a senior, was a junior college player, very talented player, anxious to see what he can do, a young guy. And Brandon Wilkinson has not played a lot. He redshirted last year uh, just to see if he can come along and be that fifth defensive end for us as we need to try and establish a little bit of depth at the defensive end. Even though we have some good guys coming back with some experience, we've got to develop that depth and some guys have got to come along. Inside, Terrell McLean is gone, but when you look at guys like uh, McCaskill and Corey Grissom that are back in the middle, uh, along with it's time for Anthony Hill to step up. Anthony Hill is going to be a junior. He's got an awful lot of talent. He reminds me a lot of a Terrell McClain talent-wise. We just need him to turn and come along and continue to mature into his body. And he's also a guy that we may take a look at a little bit as a defensive end. At 295 pounds right now, may give us a little bit bigger option. And I've talked to a couple people over the last couple of weeks about some of the moving that'll go on and how we're gonna kind of move some people around. A guy like Anthony Hill's gonna have to go play in. Corey Grissom and, and uh, McCaskill are gonna have to play both nose and three technique, along with the growing up of a guy like Luke Sager and Demi Thompson. We're gonna see an awful lot of what they can do. At the linebacker position, I think we bring along probably our most experienced when you look at Linares and Barrington and Dee Dee Lattimore, three guys that played an awful lot for us a year ago. Uh, but all of a sudden, we've, we're looking at a guy like a Richard Clyatt, who's really opened a lot of people's eyes through winter workouts. The way that he's matured and grown up, he was grown up, he's a safety. We moved down to linebacker. He's about 205 pounds right now. I expect him to be about 210 to 215 as we get to the season. But I think he's a guy that has a chance to maybe give us a, a player a lot like a Jaquan Williams, maybe a little bit leaner, give us an opportunity to be that nickel back. It's going to be great to get him out there in space and to see what he can do, along with the two young guys, the two new guys. When you look at uh, Mike June and Posniak, those are two new additions that we're looking forward to seeing them out on the field and running around and how they're going to fit in to what we're going to do on defense. And the other guy that's in that, the other two guys that are in that mix is a guy named Curtis Weatherspoon, who played a little bit, probably a lot like Claude Davis, was a junior college player, uh, went through an adjustment period a year ago that we're really looking for him to step up, along with Hans Lewis, who was a red shirt uh, from a year ago. In the secondary, the safety is probably the position where we have the most depth right now. When you look at the four safeties that came, that are coming back from a year ago, um, when you look right now at a guy like John Legest and Jenkins, uh, Mark Joyce and Jarrell Young are four guys that all played for us. They'll play safety, they'll play strong, they'll play free. We're going to move them around, continue to challenge them a little bit mentally. And then at the corner position, we've got to identify some of the young guys there that need to come along with Mr. Raymond being gone. All of a sudden, you start to look at a Q Washington, who uh, really had a good year for us last year, and a guy like Kayvon Webster to come around. But some of the young guys, that, that George Baker, a, a Tyson Butler, who hasn't played a lot for us, needs to really step up and play a big role with him being a senior. A guy like Ricardo Dixon, Spencer Boyd is a guy we're really looking forward to seeing a lot of this spring. And so when you look at it, there's a lot of names right now on defense. And, and we'll turn and we'll move those guys around. There are no ones. There are no twos and there are no threes right now. Uh, we're going to roll the balls out. We're going to let them all complete. We'll formula, uh, compete, and we'll formulate a depth chart after the first after the first spring scrimmage, uh, which will be here, uh, I guess, in about three weeks. It'll be once we come back. I believe it's around March 26th. I believe is that first Saturday. Uh, that'll be our first scrimmage, and that's when our really our first depth chart will be uh, sent out. Now, obviously, like at linebacker, you know. Uh, uh, Barrington and Linares and guys like Dee Dee Lattimore are going to be up by the front because of the experience they bring. But I'm really anxious to watch some of these young guys turn and come along. From a special team.